Consilience. Global consilience. This is something that I've been super excited for, very much anticipated video, guys. This succession has been a long time coming. You know, uh, consilience is the unity of knowledge. It's pretty much gathering what we know to help somebody else. Taking this approach and that approach and trying to find an exact solution to that problem. Now there's many ways to apply consilience and the concept itself. So like if you know something about biology or you know something about architecture or you know something about technology or you know a piece of information, you can use that knowledge and use that concept to actually gather that information and that knowledge and, and put it towards the solution and exactly what we can use it for. Now, to actually utilize this and apply this, you know, you kind of have to have a level of knowing. You kind of have to have a level of understanding and um, a level of knowledge to actually apply all these different avenues and all these different aspects and almost have a bunch of ambiguities in, in what you know to actually apply that into a problem or into a solution or into an issue. So a lot of people know a lot of different things and kind of keeping an open mind and using what everybody knows to contribute to that solution is the best way to use consilience. And that's what I use when I use my, when I do my shows, when I do these videos, when I make music, or even when I'm coming up and conjuring up ideas. This is something that actually helps me think. It helps me, helps me provide new ways, new imaginative, you know, uh, ways to actually do things. And it just, it makes life a lot easier because then you're not so narrow-minded, you're not so super concentrated, you're almost open and free-flowing and there's almost a fluidity to how you think because you're just using all these different channels and all these canals of information and, and concepts and subject matters and it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. And you see the world in a lot of different, lot of different ways. You know, you, you walk into a building, you see, you know, how the electricity was built, you, you, you see the, the plumbing, you see, you see how the interior design, and you see how that actually makes the building itself. You walk into a house, you see the carpet, you see the furniture, you see the TV, you know, you see the pictures on the walls. Those come from different places in the world, different cultures, and they're all put into one thing. So all in all, you know, you're taking all these different things and you're putting it into a centralized thing. It's almost like a round table. You got a bunch of minds or a panel of information and you're contributing to the center source. You have the sun, all these different planets that are revolving around the sun that, you know, make the solar system. You know, we're all running off that source, all running off that solar. And you have different planets and different gravitations and different orbits, but it still makes the system work, man. And I just absolutely love it. So, Yes, consilience, you know, taking two different approaches, finding one solution, almost converging and having confluence and having all these different acts come together as one because all is one and one is all. You know, the one is in the all and all is in one. And that's, that's what, I, I love that so much. I could preach this for days and I want to apply this and I want people to know about this because this is what my channel stands for. Global consilience. I want to take this global. I want to go to different countries and I want to like teach this to people. You know, everything from mind mapping to brainstorming to idea generation to, to thought leadership and just having this be on the forefront so people can understand what it means to, it's not about what you know, but it's about what you know and how that can help somebody else so like instead of hoarding information or hoarding knowledge use that to give and you will give right back you will get right back and you will have more than you thought and it's 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 so abundant that it just absolutely helps you and the people that you're involved with it helps on so many different levels and so yeah that's consilience and I love you guys. I love this so much. This frees my heart. This frees my mind. And, you know, I just want to keep preaching it and keep teaching it and keep reaching out to people. And, and hopefully that this resonates with you. I, I preach this with so much love that, you know, nothing could stop me from doing this. Nothing, nobody, nothing. And I, can, I can't wait to, for you to figure out how this stuff works. So, yes, my name is Nate Hill. This is uh, another Primordial Successions Consilience. Thank you.